Hey everybody, I'm back again. <coughs> Excuse me. Here to do another collection video here. This is going to be my first collection video of 2019. And to start things off, I figured we could do the NES games. I have like 63 of them, I think. I'll have to check them. But uh, I'm going to show you all the games. I got some new ones since last time I showed, so... Yeah, this will be good. Hopefully. First up, we have Back to the Future 2 and 3. Which really isn't that great of a game, but I kept it. You know, some of these games my aunt gave to me. So I went ahead and kept, kept the ones that were not that were not duplicates. Next up, Batman, which I, I have beaten this before. It was very hard to fight that Joker, though. But, uh, yeah. This is a good game. One of the few licensed games that was actually good on the NES. With movie license, anyway. And next up, I have this on the box, but I'm going to show you the cartridge instead. That is Batman Return of the Joker. Which, uh, is the sequel to, uh, the first Batman for the NES. I've got Battletoads, which uh, doesn't work on my uh, clone system. I do have a uh, Castlevania painted NES, but I, I haven't used it in a while, and I don't think I can get it to work anymore. So the, my clone system is the best way to go, unfortunately. But this, but Battletoads is on the Rare Replay disc, so I, so if I ever record myself playing that it'll be through uh, the rareware disc next up is the game I got yesterday that is Blaster Master which uh, is another game made by Sunsoft along with uh, the F Batman games I just showed next up the Adventures of Bayou Billy, which I think this one for for certain levels you'd have to use the uh, the gun or whatever the zapper, which doesn't work on modern TVs. It, it didn't really work well on older TVs anyway, though. If you really think about it, a lot of older TVs. I mentioned Castlevania earlier, so uh, I'm going to show off the next three games. They are Castlevania One. Castlevania 2 and Castlevania 3. Uh, yeah, these are really good games. Even Simon's Quest is actually pretty good. Even though the AVGN did was the first episode of the AVGN was on Castlevania 2. But it's actually quite underrated. Shoot. Dropped a, one of my games. Classic Concentration, which this one Brett Jackard has as well. He says this is his favorite game show game for the NES. Um, it's a good game, you know. And I know uh, Buzzer has started airing episodes of Classic Concentration on uh, on their channel. So uh, for those of you Classic Concentration fans, you'd be excited about that. Next up is another one I haven't showed you. Copa Triangle, which I do believe this one's also on the uh, Rare Replay disc. And, uh, I, I guess this is pretty good. I think the GBA version of Donkey Kong Country 3 has a level similar, has a bonus, has some bonus content similar to what you find on Copa Triangle. Oh, wait, wrong game. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, Contra is next. For some reason, this is not on the NES Classic, which it really should be. The sequel is, so uh, I don't know why this one wasn't. Maybe due to licensing issues or something, maybe? I don't know. But um, but still, this is a good game. Uh, 
Donkey Kong Classics, which uh, has Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. on it, the original arcade games. Speaking of Donkey Kong Jr., here's the NES version. I don't have the original NES version of Donkey Kong 1 or Donkey Kong 3. But uh, I think I have played Donkey Kong 3 on here before. Up next, Double Dare. Based off the game show hosted by uh, Mark Summers. Not the Alex Trebek Double Dare, but uh, the Mark Summers version. Dr. Mario. Yeah, I also have a Tetris and Dr. Mario on the uh, Super Nintendo. So, uh, I saw that whenever I saw my Super Nintendo collection. Up next, DuckTales. Based off of the uh, Disney Channel show, uh, Disney show from the late 80s. Uh, there is a sequel. But uh, it's very expensive, and I don't have it yet. Up next, Excite Bike, which this one is a really good game. You know, plays cla it's, it's a classic game. You know, up next, Family Feud. Uh. This is pretty good, you know, if you like the game show. The set on here is from the uh, the picture on this that's on the cartridge is the set from the 80s, which is which is Ray Combs' set. But on the actual game, it's actually based off the very first ever incarnation of Family Feud from 76 to about maybe 77, 78, something like that. So it's actually based off the uh, 70s version instead of the uh, 80s Ray Combs version. Up next is a Final Fantasy, which is, I think, on the NES Classic as well. So are Castlevania 1 and 2. 3 isn't, though. Yeah, I'm showing all these price tags, but... Oh, well. Up next... I think I've shown this one before. Uh, Hogan's Alley. Which, uh... Yeah, this is a good game, you know, I, although I haven't been able to play it in a long time because all my TVs are uh, uh, HD TVs, so uh, they don't work, so those games, so those Gun Zapper games will not work on my uh, modern day TVs. So I can't do a playthrough of that anymore. Up next, Hollywood Squares, which uh, this is based off the John Davidson era. I had this one for the box as well, but it's uh, put away somewhere. Uh, if I can get it in there. Ice hockey. Which, uh, for those of you uh, hockey fans out there, you'd probably like this. I don't know if this is as good as Blades of Steel is on the NES, but I, don't, I never played that. But uh, for ho for hockey fans, this is probably a good game. This one I got yesterday. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors Two. I don't have the first and third Wizards and Warriors, but I do have the second one now. Uh, I think that's Fabio on the cover right there. Up next, Jeopardy. This is the second set they used. Uh, the first set they used, they used only for the first season. Ah, get out of there. There we go. Jeopardy Junior Edition. Uh, this one's uh, really good too, you know. Uh, 
it's a lot easier for, especially if you're like an 80s kid and you know all this stuff from the 80s. This is trivia. This kid's this is kids trivia from the 1980s. Jeopardy 25th Anniversary Edition. This one might be the hardest out of all three of them. But this was celebrating the 25th anniversary of the uh, Art Fleming Jeopardy. Not This wasn't released during 2008 when uh, Jeopardy had their 25th season with Alex Trebek, So Up next, Joe and Mac. Which, uh, this one's, uh, alright, I guess. It's just not, not one of the best games on the NES, but mm, it's, it's pretty good, I guess. Uh, wait, I think I was showing the wrong game again. Hold on, sorry. Kirby's Adventure. I believe this is also on the NES Classic, so, uh, yeah, I actually beat this game. Most Kirby games, I'd say, are very easy. But I guess they're good for young children. You know, small children. Marble Madness. Which, this is also, I think, on the Game Boy and maybe the X68000 as well. I have to remember, I have to check. Up next... Oops, uh, I think I put it in the wrong spot. Hang on, there we go. Up next, Mega Man 2, which is probably the best Mega Man game of all time. And uh, for good reason, you know, this is really good. I especially like the Dr. Wily stage part one and two music. Up next, and this one I'm going to show the manual for as well. Mega Man 5. And uh, here's the manual. I don't have the box for this per se, but I do. At least it's good to have the manual for this. Uh, this that one's one of the harder Mega Man games to find, actually. Up next, the original Metroid. Uh... This is pretty hard, I gotta say. But this is really good, you know. I, I, I don't know if this is as hard as, say, uh, The Legend of Zelda. Because I can at least get through that one. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe I can, actually, now that I think about it. I never actually did beat Metroid 1, but I did beat the original Legend of Zelda. Up next, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Now, the Punch-Out that's on the NES Classic is the one featuring Mr. Dream. This one is the one that features Mike Tyson, which is the one that most people are familiar with. <clears throat> and what's this next one I see here? Uh, if I can get it out. Oh, uh, Ninja Crusaders, I think this is called. Uh, I guess if you like ninjas, this is very good. But a much better Ninja game, and actually a better Ninja trilogy, is the Ninja Gaiden trilogy, which this is very hard. This is the first one I have, which uh, probably the easiest, but it's still very difficult. And the price tag on the, the next one is pretty messed up. Ninja Gaiden 2, The Dark Sword of Chaos. And to, to finish it off, we have... The Ancient Ship of Doom, Ninja Gaiden 3. Let me go ahead and uh, put this down here so I can get these uh, games to come out. Okay, there we go. Or to get back in there, rather. Next is the only Tension cartridge I have Pac Man. Which, uh, there is a gray cart version of this as well, but, uh, I have the Tension version, Tension cartridge, so, uh, 
Yeah, these were unlicensed Nintendo games, which I think Nintendo got mad at. Up next, Pinball Quest, the world's first pinball fantasy. Uh, I guess this one's alright. I think this one has an RPG kind of mode too for pinball, which is actually kind of weird. Pinbot, which uh, this is pretty good, I guess. I haven't played in a long time though. Rad Racer, which uh, I think when you got this game brand new back in the 80s, you got, uh, you would have, uh, it would come with these uh, 3D glasses. I guess that's pretty cool. This next one is a game show game, and I got this one yesterday. MTV's Remote Control. Based off the MTV game show hosted by Ken Ober, I believe, who, uh, if I remember correctly, he passed away in uh, 2009. Which is unfortunate. Next up is the game based off a movie, Robocop. Don't have the other two on the NES, but I do have the first one. AFGN did uh, videos on uh, Robocop 1, 2, and 3 on the NES. Next up, is the sequel to Contra, Super C, which I've only beaten once. And that, thankfully, was out the, without the uh, 10 life code, which I don't even remember what that is, because I honestly just don't care. I know the uh, the code for the other game is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. But uh, that's the Konami code for that would work on other games, too. But, uh, Anyway, next up, Talking Super Jeopardy. This was based off the Super Jeopardy, Tur Jeopardy tournament that aired in uh, 1990, in the summer of 1990, on Saturdays, I think it was. Uh, yeah, this one's a decent one. Very hard, though, especially for me. And of course, you can't have an NES without having. Oops. Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, which I also have uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 and uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 right here. Let me go ahead and put these back in. And I have another trilogy right here. I can get these out. There we go. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trilogy, which there's the first one. The second one, to, or, the arcade game. And the Manhattan Project, the third one. Uh... Up next is a game that was also released for the Nintendo Game Boy, which would come in packaged. Well, I don't have the Game Boy version of it. It is Tetris. And this is the original version, not the Tension version. I think the Tension version actually has, has, a, has a multiplayer mode on it, but uh, this one doesn't, unfortunately. Tiger Haley, which this one's uh, pretty good. I guess anyway, I haven't played in a long time. Uh, oops, sorry. Top Gun Second Mission. I don't have the first Top Gun. Although I might get that just to complete this, but. Yeah. Anyway, next is the. Uh, it's, it's not really a trilogy because it's not. There's only two games that I have for it. But I have Track and Field 1 and 2. Up next, Wheel of Fortune. The original 1987 version, which, uh, this is very good, you know, if you like the game show, you know, which a lot of people do, so. 
and Wheel of Fortune is in their 36th season as of right now. Oh, y'all probably knew that already. Junior edition of Wheel of Fortune for ages 7 and up. It really should say hundreds and hundreds of puzzles for ages 7 and up instead, but oh well. Next up is the family edition for the NES, which, uh, this is another good one. You know, it's, it's the same thing. The first two games are the same thing. The only difference is, is the puzzles and the prizes. And the family edition also has different music cues as well. And that, next up, Rule of Fortune featuring Vanna White, which this one is a good one. Probably the best one out of all of them, actually. Only three games left. Uh, widget. Which I think there's a Super Widget for the Super Nintendo from what I heard. But, uh... Don't have those. Don't have that. And last is the, the last two are from the same franchise. And they're both the Grey Cartridge versions. They are The Legend of Zelda. And the Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. I actually kind of like Zelda 2. I think it's very underrated. Uh, anyway, that does it for this video. See you for the next one.